morning. It is flying day. Look, there's an aeroplane right there out our window. Um, we are going to check in. So by check-in, I actually meant bag drop. <laughs> We'd already checked in, so we just needed to go to the BA counter to drop in our bags. Uh, and then we went to Weatherspoons for some breakfast. <laughs> I didn't bother buying... We usually would go for a lounge. I didn't bother getting one this time because the airport was really quiet. <laughs> We're on the mass transit to our gate. Please hold on. Transit is departing. Next stop, gates C-52 to C-66. Mm. It goes quite fast. Zoom. <laughs> we really are going quite fast. Looks like something in front of us. Approaching the station. This is our stop. We are at the gate now. I can see our plane. It's an A380, so it's double decker. Dave's just gone to the loop. So just waiting for him to come back, and then we should go and queue to board. We have priority boarding because we're premium. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Sat at our gate, waiting to board. It's first flight for a long time. Now. Once your hand baggage is safely stowed, please keep the aisle clear for all our remaining customers to join us on board. We invite you to make yourselves comfortable. tasted delicious. We had um, great entertainment on the plane on the way over, loads of selection of movies and TV um, programmes to watch. And you could also have a snooze. <laughs> On the Miami, Miami. Move up. It's been on the most bizarre. I'm not going to talk when she is. <laughs> so we are in Miami. <laughs> um, we were a bit delayed leaving his So hot. But we um, made it up. And then we <laughs> lost it again in passport control. Um, yeah, it was interesting. Long, long queue, but it's fine. Um, yeah. Sights of Miami, the first few views. Lots of palm trees. <laughs> um, we're on the Miami Move Way, I think, or Mover. Nice Mover. I don't know. Just did a walking, um, like a moving walkway thing. And it was bouncing. <laughs> Bit bizarre. But anyway, yeah. You see there's a freeway and stuff down here. So we did book where well, we were going to go on an Uber. But arrivals had like, I don't know, about 10 doors and lots of letters in the alphabet. And Uber would only let me pick um, Miami International Air, Airla Airport um, arrivals and that was it, like no way to like narrow it down so I was like I'm not booking an Uber and then having the stress of not being able to find them, not knowing where they're asking for us to go to so I was like let's do the train, which we planned to do already anyway um, yes. so we're on this moving Miami mover thing um, and yeah hopefully we'll then be on the trial rail, tri-rail which should take us to um, 
thought, blah, blah, blah. And then we can go to our hotel, the Grand Pelican Beach Resort. Um, you'll see. <laughs> So Dave's happy to get this train. Look at him. Proper train. He's a professional train. Well, that sounds God. That sounds even worse. No, his work is um like the lead engineer for a, a fleet of trains in London. So this is like a monster train for him. <laughs> Look at him. He's going to get a picture of it. He's double decker. I've only ever been on a double decker train in Austria before. Is that the time? I thought it was going to be open and I know somebody wearing buttons to be able to open it on here so I don't know. I'm not sure what the drill is. I've got little tickets though. So I thought Lord Dale. all the way along oh my god look at that train it's huge i am a, 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 a past thomas the tank engine super fan <laughs> So the tri-rail um, transportation was a really good budget if you need a way to travel between uh, Miami Airport and Fort Lauderdale. So that was only kind of half of the journey the train does. It's um, a train service in South Florida and it goes from Miami Airport all the way to Mangonia Park um, in Palm Beach, West Palm Beach. So that's in the north, I think, and then Miami Airport is as far south as it goes. Uh, it was really easy to find in the airport. Uh, there's lots of signs for it. You have to go on like a mass transit kind of um, train in order to get there, but it was all free to get to um, Tri-Rail. And then once you get to Tri-Rail, it's very self um Self-service ticket booths like there are in major cities. Uh, I think our ticket from Miami Airport to Fort Lauderdale was, te was $5 each. Um, the trains, they're not luxurious, but they're, they're fine. They're clean. They work. Um, and it took about, I don't know, about half an hour. And I mean, we were like watching everything, looking out the windows, you know, very um, excited. Uh, when we got to Fort Lauderdale Station, I then ordered an Uber on the usual UK app, it's a worldwide app, it will work when you're in America, and we had a Uber to our hotel. Um, it would have been about £50, I think, equivalent to have an Uber from the airport to the hotel, but we, the Uber was about £10 from the Fort Lauderdale um, train station to the hotel, and it meant that Dave could see a monster train. <laughs> On the train, <laughs> we're on the bottom floor. Oh, there's a man peering around. <laughs> um, we have our cases down here with us. Uh, there, we travel premium economy, so we could have had two 23 kilogram cases each. Um, usually we cruise with two big cases and one small one for like, all our shoes. Um, but we actually, because of this travel on the other side. Um, we actually decided to pack lightly and we managed it. Although my bag is heavy, but hey. oh well, didn't get charged. We had 46 kilograms and, um, it's really, it was 0.1 of a kilogram overweight. It wasn't like stupidly overweight. Um, and I think Dave was 0.1 of a kilogram underweight. <laughs> Not that it's a name, it's a limit, but oh, we're moving. It's exciting. Great views of the planes as you leave Miami Airport Station. We've made it to our hotel. 
um, we got the tri-rail train, as I showed you, to Fort Lauderdale Station, which I was expecting to be, you know, like a, I don't know, Victoria Station, Trying Cross Station kind of generic city station. <laughs> it wasn't really, it was like this out of town place. But it's very busy. I didn't feel particularly unsafe there. Did you feel unsafe? No, I didn't. I think it was, it seemed all right. It's very dark, sorry. Um, but yeah, that is the point really of this video. Our room is beautiful, like just like in a huge hallway. <laughs> lovely bathroom, lovely room and lots and lots of windows. You can see lots of windows. However, it's really quite dark. There's only like, I don't know, in the main room, there's like two lights, a bedside light and a, this light that's above me here. Ooh. So I don't think it will do it justice to show you it in this light. So I will bid you a short room tour tomorrow um, to show you. But we are in the Grand Pelican Beach Resort. And so far it seems beautiful. It's very kind of hen fash, <laughs> old fashioned downstairs. Um, nice, really nice. And we've got like lots of um, beach kind of themed artwork above our bed here. And it's just really cute. But I shall show you more of it tomorrow. But first, we're going for food because we're starving. So I'll show you the food that we have. Can't really see, but the beach is out there. I can see the waves. And then this is the entrance to our room. And this is the corridor. It's all very cute and nautical. -y. Look at the like faux wooden panel. It's really cute. It's so cute, and everything has some sort of nautical little theme to it. It was an expensive hotel to stay in. I booked it with our travel agent, Emma Otter. Um, but, I mean, it's a holiday. We wanted to treat ourselves and it was definitely worth the treat. I'd definitely stay there again. So we've come to the bar in our hotel and we're having a burger and drinks. Dave's got a mango IPA beer. Is it nice? Yeah. And I'm doing very boring and having a diet coke. We've got a cracking cocktail list here, but... It's quarter to one in the morning on our body clocks at the moment and I had, I had, I had Prosecco on the plane and yeah, I don't want to drink much, I don't want to oversleep tomorrow. In fact, I want to be up, so it's, it is actually, I don't know, like, quarter to eight, no, quarter to seven here? Quarter to eight here. So we're going to have some food and we're going to have a really early night and then I'm hoping to get up at 8am to go for a swim. We had dinner in the hotel in the O2K Lounge, which was a really beautiful bar. Um, we had from the menu what was on the, the sandwich part of the menu. But basically we had um, a, I think it was an Ocean 2000 burger. Yeah, with cheese, iceberg lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle and a brioche bun. And then it came with fries as well. Um, it was $18. So, I don't know, maybe that's about £14, £15. Which for a hotel, we didn't think was too bad. Um, service was great. The food was delicious. Uh, we had some money off a uh, voucher actually as well because we were staying in residence. I think we had $10 off. Um... But yeah, we, we really liked our dinner and then we went for an early, early night because by the time we finished it was technically our body clocks were on 2am um, and it was bedtime. <laughs> there was this lovely artwork of the hotel being built everywhere and this was our first view of the beach with the iPhone night mode. <laughs> The hotel really was so beautifully designed and you could have a sea view on this side um, and the beach was right there. <laughs> and on each lift landing they had these really cute rocking chairs. It was so cute. I really liked the decor. Oh, I find this fan mesmerising. <laughs> I'm definitely going to fall asleep well tonight watching this. We are... <laughs> That noise is Dave brushing his teeth. I'm trying to vlog and he's going. <laughs> um, we're going to have an early night. It is two o'clock in the morning at home, but it's nine o'clock here. So we're going to sleep 
showing you the van. And then in the morning, I will show you the view from the hotel and the hotel and the daylight and the room in the daylight. Um, yes, will do. I'm collapsed on the bed, <laughs> passed out. What's this? Oh, my jeans. Um, yes, so I will show you. I'm just so tired. <laughs> It's like two in the morning and it's stupid because I do 24 hour shifts and 21 hour shifts at, at work. But um, yes, sleep time now and hopefully lazy river time in the morning. But my phone shall not be coming in the lazy river. I am not going to break my phone. Oh, oh, bleeding. Oh, no, not bleeding. It's just red. Not going to break my phone the day we unbox on Sky Princess. It didn't like it swim in the Canaries last month. Last month? No, November. Last month of December. Yes. So it can stay in the dry um, here in Florida. We're in Florida. Exciting. Um, cool. We're off to sleep. Bye-bye.